Let's solve this problem. Solve the differential equation. 2x times quantity y plus 1 dx minus y dy equals 0, where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 2. So we need to solve the particular solution of this differential equation since we have the condition when x is 0, y is negative 2. But let's try to solve first a general solution. So this dE is actually a separable dE. So what we can do is to separate the variable first. So I will transpose this negative y dy to the right side. So we will have 2x times quantity y plus 1 dx equals positive y dy. And then I will cross multiply this y plus 1 under the denominator on the right side. So we will have 2x dx is equal to y dy over y plus 1. So we already have separated the variables. So dx is being multiplied by function of x alone, which is 2x. And dy is being multiplied by function of y alone, which is y over y plus 1. So we can now integrate both sides. So for the first integral on the left side, I can put these two first on the side of the integral since it's just a constant. So it's equal to 2 integral of x dx. And then applying the power rule, so this x is an invisible exponent of 1. So its integral is equal to 2 times x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 or simply x squared over 2. So we can cancel out these two. We are left with x squared. Now, for the integral of the right side, notice that it is a rational algebraic expression that is improper. Since the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, which are both 1. So we can use long division first. So let's divide the numerator y by the denominator y plus 1. So y divided by y, that's 1. And then multiply 1 times y, y. 1 times 1, positive 1. Subtract y minus y, that's 0. Or we can cancel out the y. And then we will have negative of positive 1. So we have negative 1. So we can rewrite this integral as integral of 1 plus the remainder negative 1 over the same denominator y plus 1 dy. So we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dy. So we will have integral of 1 dy or integral of dy. Since we have a minus here, we will have negative integral of 1 over y plus 1 dy. So integrating dy, that will be y minus the integral of 1 over y plus 1 dy. So this will yield natural logarithm ln of the denominator y plus 1. So we have x squared on the left side equal to y minus ln of y plus 1 on the right side. But don't forget to put plus c for the constant of integration. So this is the general solution, but we need to find the particular solution. So we need to find the value of c. When we plug in the value of x equals 0 and y is equal to negative 2 in the general solution. So if x is equal to 0, y is negative 2. Let's solve for c, substitute x, 0, y, negative 2. So we will have 0 square is equal to negative 2 minus ln of y, negative 2, plus 1 plus c. Simplifying 0 squared still 0 equal to negative 2 minus ln of negative 2 plus 1 that's negative 1 plus c. So we have 0 equal to negative 2 minus ln of the absolute value of negative 1 so it will become positive 1 plus c. So we'll have 0 equal to negative 2 minus we know that ln 1 is 0, so we will have minus 0 plus c. Or simply, 0 is equal to negative 2 plus c. Now, let's just transpose this negative 2 to the left side so we can solve for c. So we will have positive 2 is equal to c. So we just plug in this value of c on the general solution to obtain the particular solution x squared equals y minus ln of absolute value of y plus 1 plus the value of c which is 2. So this is the final answer.
Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to solve this differential equation and just comment your answers.